started with Oak Ridge, the, the idea was that the university, they partnered with UMaine because we have such a background in bio-based materials development, specifically with forest drive products. So the interest was, you know, how can we make 3D printing greener? How can we use more uh, renewable materials and decrease the carbon footprint? So we were introduced to NatureWorks through our partners at Oak Ridge, who had utilized their initial um, polyelectric acid or PLA material in a demonstration project where they printed a pavilion. Some things, and we're actually going to be printing a uh, house uh, with a PLA and wood flower uh, later later this summer. So we're working with an amorphous um, PLA, um, basically formulated for large-scale 3D printing, and having an amorphous polymer lends itself to processing by large-scale 3D printing with less dimensional stress during the processing that is laying down the, the, the part and, uh, and the cooling that occurs during, uh, during the manufacture of the part. And uh, the, the testing that we've done has shown that um, compared to the, the, the normal uh, semi-crystalline PLA, this material works similarly in terms of uh, mechanical properties, material properties, but um, it does uh, it does print it does print better, which is which is a good thing. The PLA is known to print really well. It's used worldwide in desktop printing and filament fed um, printers. But when you get to large scale additive manufacturing, you're starting to build large structures where the, they're very massive. So you're thinking of printing. We printed an entire boat, which was almost 7,000 pounds. And so as we print. 7,000, 10,000, 20,000 pound objects, material properties start to have an outsized, um, play an outsized role in how those um, products are printed. So one of the issues we ran into was we liked the renewability of PLA because it's derived from nature. So we, we like to incorporate the bioresin of PLA with our wood fillers, so things like wood flour and nanocellulose and pulp fiber to create new types of composite materials that we could 3D print with and we could strengthen them, we can improve a lot of their impact strength, their tensile properties, so all the different properties you need to enhance to make strong objects and to print actual direct printed parts as well as tooling. And so the idea though was we were struggling with the traditional PLA is that it was semi-crystalline in nature and so that causes a lot of shrinkage and some distortion in the printed parts. So we formed a collaboration with NatureWorks because they were developing a, a specific type of PLA that was designed specifically for additive manufacturing. In the, in the Hub and Spoke program and with our partnership with Oak Ridge, we, we basically look at improving the ability to decarbonize manufacturing specifically in the United States. So we do a couple of things. We do some business assessments, like what are some areas where there's a strong potential for additive manufacturing. And within all the different um, markets that we look at, we see opportunities for renewables. So the ability to use uh, something like the NatureWorks PLA, along with the addition of wood flour and, and, and cellulose nanofibers, is that we have a totally 100% sustainable material that also sequesters carbon, and uh, th this is a, a big goal of the type of work we're doing to get away from fossil-based uh, uh, polymers uh, in, in these applications. So we're really excited about uh, that, that aspect of the work.